What's happening, film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. Look at this beautiful steaming pile of garbage out of the bowels of E! News. That's right. I'm sure you guys have no doubt heard about the new campaign that was floating around out there with the hashtag Give Captain America a Boyfriend. That's right. And um, this uh, beautiful piece of shit was sent to me, and I was going, whoa, just the title alone is like, whoa, man, I'm like, this person really knows what they're talking about. Fans are begging Marvel to give Captain America a boyfriend, but we all know who he already is. Oh my God, who is it? It's Bucky, oh my God. Oh, Jenna Mullins. I think you should climb back up Kim Kardashian's fat, ugly ass and just wait for Kanye to penetrate it again because that's what E! News does best. They just climb up Kim Kardashian's ass or, you know, somebody else's ass that means nothing and just means little to society. But anyways, here we go. So let's let's look at that title for a second. Fans. What fans are you talking about? Not Marvel fans. Marvel fans are not begging for this. Not at all. <coughs> That's right. That's what I think about that. And they're not begging either. <laughs> Nobody's begging Marvel. Please, please, Marvel, do this. I want to see Captain get pounded by Bucky. No. That's not what's going on. And the fans that they are talking about are people who do not read Captain America books, nor have they watched the movies, the previous movies to be exact. Because you know the previous movies, you know that little love story that was going on between Steve and Peggy Carter? Yeah, that kind of like forbidden love. At first she was like, oh, she felt bad for that little scrawny dude. Then he got all big and powerful and he was a badass and she started looking at him differently. But they couldn't really be together, you know, because he was Captain America. And then he had to put the ship in the ice, frozen for 70 years, wakes up, reunites with her. But she's old and dying. And then she dies in Civil War. And you just feel so bad for Cap because that was his true love that he could not be with. A unique love story. And these Fucking Nimrods want to tear that apart. Tear it apart. I don't get why people just think that they're just a unique little snowflake, okay? There are gay characters all throughout comic books. Why don't they campaign to get one of those movies made? Do that. Get a Kickstarter going. There is a ton of gay and lesbian superheroes out there. Why are you trying to change 70 years of mythology and character development? Fuck you. Narcissistic. That's what it is. It's the ultimate narcissist. Ah, God. Anyways, and it's so funny too because it's coming after the whole Ezla, Ella, whatever the fuck her name is from Frozen. They want her to have a girlfriend. And I'm just thinking, it's kids. Fuck wads. Calm down. It's a kids movie. We don't, who the hell cares? But anyways, and it even says Marvel lovers are making it clear. No, they're not. Oh, man, I, I, it's crazy. But this is what's funny about this. And, I, and I'll, I'll give props to you, Jenna Mullins, for um, subtly and secretly doing this. She does this little thing in this article, and, I re and this is what set me off. I don't care about the whole campaign. That hashtag can float around all you want. Marvel's not going to change anything. It's all fucking ridiculous and stupid. Whatever, it's just a big joke. But what was funny about this article is she did something very subtle, something indirectly, and I'm going to read you this right here. It says, Though we all know Captain or Cap already has a boyfriend, right? Bucky Barnes, played by Sebastian Stan, duh! Fucking teenager wrote this. You can't watch three Captain America movies and not see the obvious love between those two characters. Steve is willing to fight the entire world. The entire world, huh? She doesn't know fucking shit. And half the Avengers to save his friend in Civil War. And he's risked his life how many times for his pal, Bucky? Did you guys see it there? Did you guys get that indirect sexism? Right? You know, everybody's trying to be PC, right? And she is too. But she's a hypocrite because basically what she is stating right here, guys, she is giving into that paradigm that a man can't have a loving relationship with another man without it being gay. There you go. Well, well said, Jenna Mullins. You snuck that one right by. Subliminally, I guess? Yeah. So pretty much that's what you're stating. So guys, if you have an old friend that you've known your whole life, you would stand behind him, you'd fight for that guy, you'd die for that guy, you're gay. That's right. You're gay. That's what she's stating right here. 
fucking ridiculous, man. So dumb. And I love how uh, she puts the tweets, and some of them are just making a joke out of it, which it is a joke. It is funny, you know? And then guys even joke about that like that too, but... And she also used the quote where, it said, uh, where Chris Evans, when asked about the, the bromance, he said, that wouldn't be so bad. Of course, he's just joking. And he said, it's just never been a part of my approach to the character. That's because it's not part of the character. My subtext didn't involve that dynamic because it's not part of the character. I think even the first Captain America film, you see how drawn he is to Peggy Carter because he's a heterosexual male who gets attracted to women. I thought I put it all in that final scene, but maybe I didn't. See what's happening here? This PC world is now making this actor, who's a great actor and who's playing one of the most beloved characters, question his the way he approached his character in the first movie, even though that scene was awesome and kind of heartbreaking. And then he goes, maybe I was just gazing at Sebastian too much. Okay, a little joke. Ha ha, good job, Chris. Jokes. But she throws that in there just to add to this stupid, erroneous post that she wrote so there you have it guys that's what i want to rant about let me know your thoughts about it down below and uh jenna mullins go fuck yourself bye bye and thank you for watching you beautiful people you go ahead and hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribe to my other channel too follow me on twitter facebook google plus and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos